What's up guys? We are here in Fountain Valley, California at the police station. Police vehicles only. Let's check it out. Shout out to uh, the HR director of Fountain Valley. She's got that librarian hotness going on. Oh, what do we got here? Justin Pulliam in another life. Well, no, no, I was just, I was told to, I was directed here to join the Blue Lives, you know, uh, come, become a member of the... The Blue Lives Matter? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, a. Uh, I mean, the only place I know of it, it's on Facebook. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, okay. Do you have a records request form? A records request form? Yes, ma'am. Public records request form. Okay, so I, I was just wondering how you joined the, uh... Thank you. The, the Blue Line, you know, uh gang membership deal well it isn't like i said it's on facebook there is no organization oh, okay so there's not an application here is it kind of blood in blood out like the crips and the bloods where you have no, to kill a civilian to, to get you know officially initiated into blue lives matter uh, I, we're just asking I've never, heard, I've never heard of that and i've oh. been here 23 years okay yeah Okay, I just didn't know if there was like an official way to join. That's I, I, I heard one of these horror stories, you know, online where you have to hit your, you know, your patrol car, your, your little, your little siren, your patrol car twice. And when you pass somebody, you flip around, you zoom up on them and hit your lights to make them kind of freak out. And then you pull them out of the car and you just Rodney King them in the back of the head. That's what I heard. That may just be a t one of them tales, but I thought that's how you got initiated into Blue Lives Matter. Are you aware of any of those, those wild tales? What's your position here? I'm a police cadet. Police cadet. Oh. Yeah. Wow. You're pretty. Yeah. Um, when do you start yeah. as an actual officer? No. I'm not an actual officer. This is just kind of like a part time. I get to help out and answer the phones position. Oh, so, so you're not, not going not, to be a police officer. You're just doing this for fun? It's it's kind of it's like what kids do while they're still in college. Oh, you're do a they kid. Pay I mean, I'm not. I'm 23, but. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, Did I pay you? Yeah. Oh, okay. I would, I would imagine. That's, that's pretty cool. So I thought you were like, so it's kind of like an Explorer program? Almost, yeah. It's like it's like an older version of the Explorer program, except we get paid. So it's an actual job. It's just part-time. Oh, okay. That's that's interesting. Yeah, that's cool. It's pretty neat. All right. What's your name? Madison. Madison. I'm Josh. Nice to meet, nice you. meet you. What was your name? Janice. Janice? I'm the voice of Fountain Valley. I answer the phones. So you don't do dispatch though, correct? I can do it part I do it sometimes but I'm the front desk officer. Okay, I see. Yeah. So you're neither one of you guys are sworn in no, though? We're not sworn. Okay. Thank you for being so cordial and polite. I appreciate it. Patrick's found him a buddy. Looks like a police detective or a, or a police, you know, maybe a, a higher rank in, in, in a pedestrian clothes or civilian clothes. I can't talk today, guys. Sorry. But yeah, we followed him out and uh, he doesn't want to look directly at or anything like that. So I don't know what he's up to. Maybe he's just leaving for the day. So this is Fountain Valley, Fountain Valley guys, Fountain Valley, California.
Alright guys, we're gonna head out of here. This is the back side of the Fountain Valley Administration building. Pretty much left us alone. On to the next.